Look at her. Eureka. Okay. Eureka O'Hara. Look That's at her there. Pick. That's an awesome picture of Game her. Game of I Thrones, love sweetie. It. Yes. Or she's uh, like giving you the elf from Lord of the Rings. Yes. This is good. I love she's it. been giving a lot of good looks. She's great. Um, I'm, I, uh, my, like going into Drag Race, I think my biggest worry about Eureka was she wouldn't like me. Mm. I didn't think she would have me, um, but that wasn't the case at all. Um, getting there, she was definitely big sister. She had a lot to say. Yeah. She was. Um, she did. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, for some of us, she really she gave us some good advice. And what was the best thing she said? Advice, best piece of advice. Oh, well, the best. Because <laughs> she had been through it before. All right. Some would say she had an unfair advantage. Uh, 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 I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> we were, we were uh, sitting outside, um, and she was having a cigarette. And it's just a thing that just stuck out into my mind. It wasn't even uh, advice. It was just, like, setting the tone of what we're going through. Right. Because this is our very first time. Yeah. Like, we're sitting out there like, what the fuck? And then just to see uh, 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 Eureka sitting there thinking the same thing, uh, downing a cigarette. And she was like, guys, this is nothing compared to nine. They're really torturing us this year. <laughs> wow. So just to see her, like, so I was like, okay, that's a good check in right. moment. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, oh, okay, here's there, you can clear up a rumor. Okay. There's rumor has that Eureka had some kind of special treatment on set. Did you see anything like that? Uh, special treatment, I don't... And I don't really know. I'm reading what they probably stole from Reddit. Right, right, right. Yeah, I don't... I, I mean, I don't think there was special treatment at all. Um, I think maybe uh, production was familiar with mm. Eureka. Um, it's like she, she walked in knowing everyone uh -huh. on set. Right. So obviously Eureka is the easiest person to ask to do something uh -huh. or to have a conversation with. Right. So like I don't think it was anything to like maybe separate her. It's just that she was familiar. It was realistic and they were like, yeah, Eureka, remember when we did old season three last year? We're going to do something similar. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you cleared that up, sweetie. <laughs> Look at her. Aquaria. Aquaria. Yeah. Your arch nemesis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was colder to you <laughs> than the coldest <laughs> night in all of Manhattan. Right, right, uh, right. So you guys are both New York girls. Yeah, we're both New York girls. Um, uh, I am so happy she won. Uh, I was think she your pick to win? She was. She was my. Uh, she wasn't my original pick to win. Mm -hmm. um, Who that, was that? My opinion did change uh, throughout the show. Um, my original pick to win was Asia, uh, and then after, it just like, the thing that edged out Aquaria for me was. Um, Asia in my book was more like a Bianca of a person. Mm -hmm. um, she didn't need much growth. She was there to shape other people. Right. You know? And uh, just to see someone grow so much on a, a show and transform, mm -hmm. uh, just really, I don't know, that just, but that, that, that Do you really, did you on. see more full growth of Aquaria in person than you think we saw on the show? Like, cause on the did show you, she seemed like she was pretty, Pressed and ready to go from the beginning, but did, were you seeing her evolve when in the real life process of it? Yeah, but I well, I obviously wasn't there for the whole thing. Right. I, I was fourth out. Oh right. And I am seeing that as a viewer and mm. and with working with her. Yeah, Aquaria may have been like boohoo. I'm mad about the double save, <laughs> right. but like really, you can't get mad at Aquaria for that because like. That's it's it's a valid emotion, like, sure. You know, and like she was just living her truth at the moment, but she came back and was like, "I was out of line for that," and like she showed growth from that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Have you guys got to hang out? Is she going? On, she's not going on that tour. She's with not you. going on the tour. No, no, no. Right. Uh, I think she will be in uh, the UK at that time. Okay. But um, yeah, I've got to work with her a couple times. We've always we've seen each other at reunion, and but we're all we're all over over the place. So it's really just a treat to be able to cross paths with another one of the season 10 girls. Yeah, she also seems pretty sweet. Like she for is. Kids, pretty sweet. She's sweet. Uh, Miss Crumbs. Uh, Miss Cracker. That's a great, these are great photos. Wow. Miss Cracker. Uh, she is someone that, uh, yeah, I did, I did Bridget Bishop with her um, uh, that the off-Broadway show. Uh, Miss Cracker, out of all the girls, I think is someone who has had the biggest transformation in life 
from when I first started drag and I would go out and see the Miss Cracker that was performing at um, Our Lady of Saliva uh -huh. or who even started at Look Queen. It's a very different Miss Cracker from today. What the was glow it like? up is just the glow up is oh. like she is like fully realized she is Ms. Cracker. Yeah. Like, uh, that bitch is hilarious and she's like a comedic entity. Yeah. And uh, I am so proud of what she's accomplished in her grow up. She's like really awesome. Now, what was your thoughts as a New York girl on the Cracker Aquaria, you want to be me storyline that they tried to push and luckily pulled back on. All right. Well, um, unfortunately, when she walked into the room, I was the one to say, "Oh, your twin is here." And they're ah, like, "Hold on a second, Dusty. <laughs> hold on." <laughs> Lady Red, do you have something to say? Oh, baby, you know, I mean, that's just simple. You. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, who? And I'm like, Cracker and Aquaria. <laughs> like, what do you mean, girl? No. Dusty, you shady bitch. I love yeah. that. <laughs> well, so you knew about this. Yeah, every, like, every, like, it, it was, it's something that has, like, been on social media. People have talked about in New York City. Uh -huh. um, there is no denying that there are times that they do look alike, but mm. I don't think that, like, I know other queens that happen to look alike. And I don't think anyone's, like, trying to be the other person, mm -hmm. but, like, what do you do when you just happen to look like someone? Yeah, and y'all both like fancy makeup techniques, sad eyebrows, and or whatever else, keyhole, latex yellow dresses. <laughs> shady, shady. <laughs> no, I don't think that, I understand the narrative, but I don't think that's like a thing. Is the a cracker in real life that you know different than cracker on screen? Uh, uh yeah, I would say so. I feel like, well, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know. I, like, I guess so. If I, I if I'm having such a hard time thinking about it. Well, I mean, it. like, uh, you know, she. We got to see inside of her insecurities oh, yeah, and all yeah. that. She, is that something you knew about? No, 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 no. That is something that I did not know about. She definitely does not wear her insecurities on her sleeve. Mm -hmm. Like, um, it's something like we're not gonna sit down and kiki about right. what makes us not want to crawl out of our hole <laughs> yeah. in, in the morning, you know? But they'll but, get you on drag race. But they sure hey, will. What about you. that inner saboteur, sweetie? Yeah. <laughs> Lady Red, look out behind you. It's your inner saboteur. Oh, I killed her long ago. <laughs> <laughs> look at her. Alexis Michelle. Yeah, we start off nice for you, sweetie. Oh, um, thank this you. is your good Judy. Yeah, that's my best friend. Um, your best friend, she, huh? Yeah, she's my best friend. She's my drag writer die for sure. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we pretty much started drag together. We had our blow up together. Yeah. And um, she's uh, my family. She's my sister, like sister, sister. Are you, are you the lovely first alternate for Miss Continental Dick Pig 2018, 19, 20, 21, and 22? She told me to leave that title out of this. <laughs> Yeah. She'll never be able to leave that with you. but there. yeah, I am definitely proudly runner up. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> All right, let us continue. Look at her. Quickly, get me out of this situation. Yeah. Asia O'Hara. I love Asia. Uh, that she... is a stunning. These looks that these queens, y'all are expected to always look great at every time because the standards have been raised. Yeah, they All really you have every year. Bring just a like... lot of fashion. Yeah, she's awesome. Um, uh, the thing that I love about Asia the most is uh, uh, she always called me my Dusty through the competition. She's like, where's my Dusty? How's my Dusty doing? Oh. And um, I was, she she picked up on that I was really shook when I was there. Mm. Um, like when I got home from Drag Race, I told Mark, I was like, uh, I wasn't my 100%, but I gave 200%. Uh -huh. I was like, I was really shook, but I gave it everything that I had. Uh -huh. And uh, 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 Asia was aware of that. And with me being uncomfortable um, for the first couple days on the show, uh, I didn't eat that much. Mm -hmm. So uh, every time there was a lunch break, Asia and went, went and made my Dusty a plate. Really? And she brought it to me oh and she was God. like, my Dusty, you're eating today. <laughs> and like, she she was, she just like, did you eat today? Do you need a Red Bull? Did you drink anything? Like, she was always just checking in on me and like. That is so sweet. Yeah, Asia is literally a class act. She's everything. 
Now, did you vote at her for your uh, number one pick for Miss Congeniality? Uh, it was uh, Monique. Oh, Monique was your number one yeah, pick. Yeah, Monique was my number one pick. The, literally, there were just so many options. Yeah, there Blair. was a lot of loving uh, loving back and forth between the cast members. Yeah, this Asia, season. Blair, Monique, Monet. What were your thoughts on what was going on with Asia during the reunion? I and, like, didn't like During it. the finale, I mean, like, that was so rough. What it were was. you, when you were in the seat, had you knew that that was coming up? No, I had no idea. So you saw it as it unfolded. Yeah, I was, we were, I mean, you saw Monique's face, that yeah. screenshot. Yes. Um, luckily, uh, Vanjie was covering my face. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> because I wish you could have seen the three of us, probably like. Oh my God. Um, yeah, we just, it is what it is. Did you get um, to chat, chat with her after the finale, finale and be like, girl. I didn't want to. Uh -huh. I have still yet to talk to her about it because, like, I don't know if it's like a triggering thing. Right, it's like hard. I just want to like because that must have been traumatic. Right, and I like I, I feel bad for her for that experience because yeah. like that didn't happen the way she wanted it. Or yeah, yeah. So it's just like I'm not going to trigger my sis. It's fine. No, good idea. <laughs> yeah. I expect, we'll talk about it plenty on this show. Right. I'm sure that'll be triggering. <laughs>